This woman who doesn't want to be identified is one of the areas unemployed and for now plans to stay that way, despite help wanted signs almost everywhere. They say uh, we're not hiring, then it might be a sign in the window. After losing her position at a construction company at the start of the pandemic, she says a $15 an hour minimum wage job just won't be enough to make ends meet. We have rent, mortgage, storage fees, you got to eat. The 48 year old Chicagoan is surviving off her small savings and weekly unemployment benefits while they last. Norman Bolden of Norman's Bistro says his restaurant isn't operating at full hours because he's short staffed. He says he's offering incentives to attract quality workers, not just someone looking for a paycheck. We're looking for folk who are passionate about hospitality. Staffing expert Joyce Johnson says the job market is changing as both employers and employees struggle with what she calls the great reassessment. There's uh, not uh, a lot of people available uh, that are applying. We're also seeing that um, people uh, want to work remotely and at home. According to the latest data available, Illinois had an unemployment rate of 7% through the end of August. That's 1.8 percentage points higher than the August national unemployment rate of 5.2. That means 435,000 people were unemployed in the state. And with what she considers to be few prospects, this unemployed woman says she only has one choice. Move from Chicago and move away for to be a better life. Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.